Hello everyone and welcome back to the Korjin Beast Tribe quests. Now as you can see I've got a quest to hand in there because I can't remember exactly how these work. Whether you automatically get pushed at the next thing for handing in the most recent one or if it's a thing that's afterwards. But as you can see we're 480 out of 510 so we're handing in this last thing and I've already done this so I'm not going to read it. But I haven't done it with you. Basically, they make pickles, they give them to the confederacy, confederacy like the pickles, friendship. Alright, let's see what happens then. Peace tribe complete. Do, 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 do. Reputation is rose by three. Ah, so it, that's good to know for later. It unlocks the next quest, it doesn't automatically do anything. Do, 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 do. So, under wraps, Kabuto is ready to depart. Good, you are here. We are preparing to embark on a search for treasure. <coughs> Would you, um... Hoyo was a certain he would follow through, but alas, he wishes to invite you on our expedition. But perhaps we should begin by explaining we are where we are going and why. Shikite. Shikite's pirate associates in Yangshai have informed him of a treasure that may prove suitable for our vault. If what has we have been told is true, the owner of said treasure can be found somewhere near Namai. Our mission is to befriend this individual and see if there is aught we can do to trade for this oddity, whatever it may be. Now, let us be off! Okie dokie then. To Namai in Yangshai. This way. Do, 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 do. Reluctant resident. This Koji here uh, tells me you're looking for some artifacts of great worth. Forgive me if I misunderstand, but what could be more valuable than a talking doll? He makes a fair point. There you are. I am waiting for you to arrive. We took it upon ourselves to question the villagers. This gentleman was about to tell us more about the treasure we seek. This villager claims to have knowledge of what we seek. I can only tell you what I've heard. Whether or not there is truth to it, you must decide for yourselves. If I may ask, what exactly is the treasure? Yeah. Oh, ahem. Oh, forgive me. I had forgotten it could speak. I do not mean to question your decisions to come here, but I sincerely doubt any treasure you find will compare to this doll. That may well be true, but our aim is to create a collection. To that end, we came here following the rumours of a treasure here in the mine. Oh, no doubt a burdensome quest, if every piece must be a curiosity such as you. Well, sadly, I can't say what this treasure is, only that its owner is of the Namazu. Uh, how can you be certain they possess what they possess is of any worth? It's been carrying something about the glittering basin with the greatest of care, but only briefly. Upon realising that he is not alone, he leaves with all waste. He speaks with no one. And so we left to wonder, what is it he guards so dearly? Ooh, I saw something. <laughs> if you mean to approach him, it will not be easy. We are to strike a deal with such a seemingly skittish character. We must find something the Namazu is willing to trade for. We must find a way to trap the Namazu. I mean... 
Let's go for the nice option for now, even though the Namazu are kind of less than nice. That he might stay and consider an exchange instead of running away. Yes, an excellent idea. Then let us begin our search. Not so fast, my friend. Even if he were to appear before us here and now, we have not with which to barter. Our time would be better spent learning about this Namazu. We have already inconvenienced Alexander greatly. We must not keep him away from his other duties. Sympathy for a comrade. Well, I suppose it would be prudent to know where the Namazu can be found when we are ready to bargain. Very well. Let us find an ideal location to better survey the area. Ah, uh, yeah. It is uh, that way. On to the managam. Hoi. Alright, that's enough racism. <laughs> I mean, is it technically racism? Unless you bring it into account? It is. I'm just doing a voice that I recognize as similar to what I heard them talk. They didn't talk at all like that. They talk like a very light, uh, not as gruff version of a uh, more ancient Japanese accent. No to like this at all. Search your surroundings for the Namazu. You may move the camera as well. A zoom in and out shark and Amazon expect him with R2 or X. Oh, we're doing the mini game. But da gun dun da 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 Where is the Namazu? He's got to be somewhere here. Oh there he is. But I'm gonna need you to... Okay. I guess he wasn't close enough. You found him! Well done, Alexander! But where is he headed? We must find a better vantage point. They are very similar voices, because I forgot what Kabuto sounds like. I know it's similar, but it's not quite there. Back to the mini game. Huh. We don't have much range, do we? He seems to be digging. Ah, this must be where he buried the treasure. At last, we can see what it is he guards so dearly. Ah, so it is a vase we are after. The only question remaining now is why must he act in secret? The answer may be our key to approaching him. Ah. <gasps> he read the Kojin! 
So we are not the only ones to come in search of treasure. Quickly, Caputo! Tuck me away and get down there. We have to stop them. Indeed we do! Tally ho! Jesus, you got there fast, Caputo. I mean, you have an awesome outfit. Must be said. Hey, how do you get the vase? Ah, more bandits! Oh, what a horrible, horrible day! Stay back! The Nyamas always are safe, but they will take the vase. You have to get it back. Please, please, please! Uh, just, just leave me alone! No need to fear, friend. We are here to help. You hear that? The bungling blue and his wet swat to help! Oh, no need to worry, your pretty little shell. We've only come to retrieve what is by rights ours. And he was more than willing to give it to us. You, you, you're a liar. And I still have the lumps to prove it. You're here to help, yes, yes. And you can start by teaching those brutes a lesson. The turtle belongs to the vault. You know this to be true. Now stand down! No! Give back the vase! Oh, how curious! Before he spoke as a whining child, but now he speaks as a would-be warrior! Lay down your sword and surrender! If you do, we may consider allowing you to work as one of our mercenaries! I. I would rather die than serve you red brutes. Watch your tongue. You stand in the presence of General Hirumaki of the Red. Ah, oh, now, now, Shogi. Let's not be rushed with this would be warrior. Given the right incentive, I'm sure he and his brothers could be convinced to join us. Never. No, not for all the treasure in the world. Oh, again with your whining. Perhaps the blue are not worth having as mercenaries after all. No, oh, I could be convinced. Mark my words. When next we meet, I will have you on your knees begging to join us. No, attack them! Don't let them escape. Attack! Oh. Those are fiends! Do you think we will let them simply walk away? Oh well, yes, apparently. The, the doll, it, it talks! Yes, well, though your cogent savior here is indeed brave, he is not the best with words. I step in on occasion to speak on his behalf. But enough of that, Kabuto. You must follow them. Alexander and I will be right behind you. Right behind you. A doll that speaks? Interesting. Thank you for saving me. Would that we'd met on better terms. My name is Goke. Alexander! Komoda says Kabuto. I will be along shortly with our new friend here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Separating. I fear... Harumaki may be too much for Kabuto on his own. Go quickly and help him. No, you worry. Your doll saved me. Yes, yes. Very safe. Yeah, sure. Let me guess. He gets captured and then the next story quest is going to be going to rescue him. If not even this quest. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, he had reinforcements lying in wait. I managed to fend them off, 
but he got away. Oh, there you are! Well, what of the Viz? Were you able to take it back from them? No, he was! Well done! Oh, no, he wasn't. Never mind. My apologies, Sukuma. Not that you can tell yourself. No, no! I'm oh, actually going to be rid of it! As Gyoke tells it, there's a rather unpleasant story behind that Viz. Indeed there is. It was not long after I came to possession of it that I learned of the misfortune that befell each of its previous owners. So it's cursed. When the birds first began to follow me... Which birds? I thought nothing of it. But then the droppings came. Every day, a torrent, a maelstrom, a dung from the heavens. I grew suspicious, and soon after I learned the vase had been cursed by its maker. I made every effort, took every opportunity to get rid of it, but whenever I dropped it in the ocean, or abandoned it on a mountainside, it always found its way back to me, as did the storms. Eventually, I learned of a way for the curse to be broken. It involves a small ritual, which must be performed while alone. There's a torrent of rain, otherwise the misfortune would spread, and we must have that no-no. But, if the red cogen want... They, they can have it. I see. Ah, truly the world is full of strange treasures. In any case, I suspect the curse will soon come to an end. They will be taking their vase to the Kojan's treasure vault on the Isle of Zeki. Once enshrined within, it will be purified by the myriad kami inside. The vase will haunt you no longer. Oh, thank goodness. I must repay your kindness. Come, come. If there's anything you would ask of me, name it. And he thought Alexander. Let Kabul decide. I only ask for your friendship on behalf of the Kojin. Yes, I only ask for your friendship on behalf of the Kojin. What a noble gesture. Putting the needs of the Kojin before yourself. Oh, my course! You are mostly merchants and traders, yes, yes? That suits my plans perfectly. I was looking for partners with whom to do business. Oh, forgive me for interrupting, but I could not help but notice. You have quite the charm. Oh, what? what? Oh, oh, I'm flattered, but I don't think it would work between a Namazu and... It is old, but it has an exquisite shine. Yes. That is indeed a marvelous charm that dangles about your neck. Oh, look at it, it's lovely. Oh, my charm! Oh, of course, of course. What else could you have meant? Let's just skip over that. I have, uh, you have good eyes, Sukomi. The chimes are the pride and joy of the Namazai. Namazu? What? I've worn this one about my next since my first name's day. Oh, what a brilliant shine. Matched only by that of your kind-hearted soul, no doubt. Please stop before you make me blush. Tell you what, as a show of good faith between suit and be partners in trade, how would you like one of these chimes? Not mine, of course, but I'm certain I can find one for you. Oh, that would be wonderful! Then I'm off to check my store herbs. When I find one, I will send it to Tamamizu Post Ace. Oh, that went rather well. We do not agree. When Gyoke got well, with Gyoke safe and a splendid chime promised to a vault, I believe our work here is done. Let us return to Tamamizu for a well-earned respite. Let us indeed. Bum, 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 bum. To Tamamizu. Ayo. Okay. 
Where am I going? I'm going in a complete circle. Good job, me. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Ba, da, da. Ah, you all returned. Bunchin was overjoyed. Try it again. Bunchin was overjoyed to hear of our new trade partner, Ingyoke. It would seem we are off to a spectacular start. I aren't a little French there. Thank you for your help. I would say you more than helped, my friend. We would still be in Yang Chai if not for your sharp eyes. In contrast, what would you say of Kabuto's performance this day? He brought honor to the blue cushion. Ah, indeed he has. Though Hirumaki escaped, Gyoke's life was spared, and soon a treasure vault will benefit from his generosity. I have much to learn. The difference in strength between Alexander and me is still too great. To acknowledge our limitations is the first step in overcoming them. Others may think you proud, but I can see there is more to you than that. You care deeply for the well-being of your people, though you have had few opportunities to demonstrate this. You have great potential, Kabuto, and I believe you may yet make a fine leader. Ba ba ba, these tribe quests completed. Do do. Ooh, very pretty. Ah, there we go. Our first treasure. Technically second. Gyoke is now a trading partner with the Blue Kojin and has pledged a contribution to the treasure vault. The Divine Circle reputation up your reputation has increased to trust that you have achieved trusted reputation with the Kojin. New Kojin Beast Tribe daily quests are available from Zukin at Tamamizu. Furthermore, you'll be owned able to undertake three additional quests from Zukin as a reputation bonus. This bonus is available until the daily reset time for Beast Tribe quests. These additional quests will become available after completing all current daily quests from Zukin. Please be advised, you cannot undertake these quests if you have no remaining allowances. You now have access to a wider selection of wares from Shikite. Shiki Shikite. The Kojin is divine too. Alright, let's have a look then. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. So, ruby cotton cloth and gukia leather are our inclusions there. Eh, not bad. Little Koji lost much at stake and sand sifting specialist. Let's quickly do these, why not? Zuki needs you to locate a missing young ring. Alexander! No, Alexander! Why to ask a favour? A Tommy, one of our younglings, left in search of treasure near the wreck of Kobayashi Baru, has yet to return. Could you tell her to come back before she finds herself in any real trouble? Much at stake? Zukin is exploring a new avenue of business with the Namazu. In our, dealing, in our dealings with the Namazu, we have discovered that one of their favorite foods is the meat of the fearsome Kyuki. However, the Namazu struggle to acquire said meat by themselves. Shrewd in business they may be, but adept hunters they are not. Might I call upon your services once more? You may. Sand sifting specialist. Sukin would like to introduce you to a new style of treasure hunting. Oh. Can I interest you in a new method of treasure hunting? Makura will explain all. Ah, Glado could join us. My clever little Ray has learned a new trick. You might have seen striped rays with their faces in the sand looking for food. 
Normally they just swallow water and filter out the krill, but the tastiest morsels can be found under the seabed. Oh, just as brilliant as yesterday, he says. There's a lot more than sediment and ray snacks down there though. This little one has learned how to search for treasure while he's at it. Why don't you take him out there and give it a try? The ray has been taught to come back here if you get separated. Once you've finished, Zukin will take care of the rest. Good luck. Away we go. Which quest is this? This is sand sifting specialist that is there, there. And that's it. Okay, good to know. Ba -da -da. Do do do. Ha. I was happily singing along there. Okay. Our first one. Loose sediment. The ray found treasure beneath the sediment. Good job, ray. Oh, thank you. And there should be two in this area, I'm guessing, because it's a massive circle. And we need two more. Oh, there's one, there's two. I'm not in the circle. The very fine treasure beneath the sediment. That's two. And... Still not in the circle. Ah, oh, I was. The very fine treasure beneath the sediment. Good job, Ray! I know I'm not calling him Avery. His name is Ray. Ray the Ray. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to head up this way so we can find little Kojin Lost. And we're likely to see some wrecks, so that should be quite cool. Quite cool. Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. I know it's behind us. I just want to have a look at this. Do, 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 do. All right, head back home, Ray. While in chat mode, in C, use your keyboard or the software keyboards to enter any phrase containing the word. Ito Baki and call out for the lost Kojin. Okay. Blob blob. I am here searching for the young. Kojin by the name of let's just put this in quotation marks to be sure Itomaki is there anyone here that goes by that name hello did someone call my name uh, I don't suppose you could help me find my way to Tamamizu? You hear a voice that seems to, to belong to the would-be treasure hunter. Search the area for Itomaki. Well, I'd guess over here. But apparently not. Apparently they're miles away. Apparently a voice carries really far under the water. A bit like a whale in that sense. Hmm, you look suspiciously similar to all the others. But let's not be racist. Ah, are you going to help me? I came here in search of treasure, but the currents seem to have shifted me a bit. Or shifted a bit. And I'm afraid to say I'm rather lost. Unfortunately, I cannot find so much as a rusted teaspoon. Oh well. I'm sure that Zukin will be pleased to see me safe and sound, treasure or no. Probably. Uh, so which way was it? It's back that way. Oh, I see. Now that you mention it, 
That does look like the way home, doesn't it? Not to worry, I'll be back in two shakes of a gookie's tail. Goodbye for now. Alright, and speaking of Gyuki, Slayer Spy. A spy? It is a spy! The spy is a spy! Sp Let's try that again. Slay a spry Gyuki and collect a cut of Gyuki meat. Which is apparently this way. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, right next to Onokoro. Still very curious what that tower's for. I'm sure we'll find out in the future. So yes, as normal, I'm like, ah, why not? Let's do a couple of the extra little quests. Because I know for the last ones, the first few that you did were normally semi-important to the story. These don't seem that important, but... You are dead. Awesome. Let's head back to Tamamizu. So yeah, these videos go on a little bit longer than normal ones do because of adding this extra stuff in. But it's all in fun, right? Uh, over somewhere. I was literally looking at them. I just couldn't see the marker. Bum bum bum. Da, da, da. Do, 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 do. Little Kojin lost. You find her, you say? You have her, my thanks, Alexander. She is only 70 summers old. Nowhere near experienced enough to navigate the ever changing Ruby Sea by herself. Are only 70 years old. Fair enough. She can barely make it from one side of the village to the other without asking for directions. Ugh. I dare say. She will go wandering off again soon. Ba 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 much at stake. So was the hunting a success? Indeed it was. Kami have mercy. If size and stench are a measure by which the Namas Zu judge their meat, I would say they will be more than satisfied. Man and Kojin alike tend to be repulsed by such pugnant, sinewy fodder. But the Namazu have no such reservations or aversions. Trade in this otherwise worthless meat will help forge stronger ties with the Namazu and provide much needed capital. Perhaps we can rely on your Gyuki slaying skills in the future. And. Sand Sifting Specialist! The ray's belly seems fit to burst. I advise you to stand back when he regurg uh, regurgitates everything. Everything? Everything. Hopefully there will be some treasure in there, along with the, all the sand and muck. Makura and her ray toiled for many days and nights to perfect that technique. Their efforts have paid dividends, and we are now able to recover many precious items that would otherwise remain undiscovered. Ba ba ba! You have got more stuff from them. So we're at 180 out of 72. So it's going to take us a few days to make it all the way there. But it's worth the wait because these are pretty cool so far, at least in my opinion. Oh, this piece is so polished. I can see the future in it. That's genuinely quite amazing. So let's stand here in front of our first treasure, besides the first treasure we actually got. And with that, we'll call it a day. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm really enjoying these Kojin quests. I hope you are too. So join me next time as we continue. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.